Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this one we're going to be reacting to The Expanse Season 6 Episode 4 called Redoubt. Um, recap. I think I'm going to start with Laconia because it's, it's the smallest part of this of last episode, but yeah. the, the animals that we thought were dangerous are not in fact dangerous. They, they can bring birds back from the dead. Um, the creature that we saw in the beginning of, of, of all the episodes looked like it was going to eat the girl ended up taking the bird away um, and then she comes back and the next day and realizes that the bird's actually alive um, and her drone is somehow fixed um, yeah yeah which is which is weird because I don't think I don't think the crew I think it's a proto molecule that's repairing it because it's machinery part um, but we don't really know what's going on there um, but she goes back to tell her parents that the birds somehow magically come back alive um, and her Everyone's kind of crying because they see her brother, who I don't we don't know what's happened to him. He's just like bruised and battered. Yeah. Um, and then obviously, in true expanse fashion, it cuts off somewhere else. <laughs> so, um, but it does it does it does switch to Christian on a, a UN frigate about to take over Ceres, or basically they they end up storming Ceres and, and find that there's a new problem that they have to deal with, and it's not Marco and Oros. It's Essentially, there's not enough food. Well, it's series. a problem caused by Marco and Aris because he's yeah. abandoned Ceres, but obviously, but also taken everything from Ceres as well. He's yeah. stripped it bare yeah. to the point where they only have like three weeks worth of food and supplies. I mean, it is a clever move for him to stop them in their tracks and kind of going more towards the ring and Jupiter and Saturn. It's kind of like a mid ground, but it's, yeah, he did. He basically said it in the episode that he sold series of lie basically and he's, that was his just idea to, to strip it but yeah. um the small drummer part that we see is she's questioning why marco and Aris has all these random stashes supply depots around the system um they're still planning to essentially rob one of them um but they haven't got that far yet um and holden and the team was are heading now towards Ceres, and who do they bump into of all people? Marco and Oros, who decides that his ego is too big and he wants to he wants the kill for himself. Yeah. So he goes after the Rosinante and with some stupidly impressive flying. I don't know how you do that. I don't And it... and some intelligence from Bobby as well, trying to work out what's happening. Yeah, she manages to well, they manage the Rosinante manages to disable one of the two of the ships and yeah. actually well he'd actually end up disabling Marco and Aris as well mm. but how you do that with a rail gun I do not know because he's literally just flicking the shots basically um, but there comes a point where they have the chance to kill Marco and Aris and he comes on screen uh, with Holden and, he, and Marco very cleverly leans back and you can see Philip in the in the background uh, Bobby's like oh, screw this I'm just going to fire uh, and right at the last second, just before the torpedo is going to hit, Holden disables it. Mm. Um, so we, we'll see what happens. Marco ends up fleeing in the end. Um, but the the really weird thing at the end of the episode was, is it like a new ship that we saw that Marco's testing? Or is this yeah, something what that going... was? It like, yeah. it looked like the tip of a spear or something. Yeah. And he's I don't know what plan he has for whatever that is. But it seemed like he wasn't too phased about his encounter. Defeat. Uh, yeah, yeah, his defeat. I mean, yeah. Philip gave, gave him a good, like, like he stood up for it himself because he was like, yeah. you failed. And yeah. he was like, no, 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 you failed. You wanted to do this when we didn't have to go chase um, yeah. Holden. We could have just carried yeah. on. Yeah, we could have just carried on what we were doing. Um, so let's see. Oh, and he relieved him of his duty. So let's see if there's any more friction there. Um, drummer, there wasn't much she's, apart from yeah, she's still, she's still just, they're still planning. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. That's uh, so let's see what happens in this episode. Um, season six, episode four, Redoubt. Let's check it out. Oh, it's funeral or something. How did he die though? What? Don't know. What's gonna happen to the driver? What do you think? Oh, oh right, okay. he got run over. 
I mean, they did kind of show that. Do you remember when the girl was running and they yeah. quite nearly ran over? Yeah. Poor kid. You were supposed to be in Paris. That was going to be your parents posting after this. You weren't supposed to be here. Yeah, well, I've never been to Earth. Me neither. Apparently, of all the places on Earth, Paris isn't a shithole. Did you have a kid who died? No. No. I lost a place. Oh. That's a place that mattered to me. And I thought it would go on forever. Well, that's not true. Talking about Mars. Yeah, it sounds more like Mars. Yeah. Do you know what sacrifice means? To give something up. That's to give something up. And make it sacred. Your brother, Mars, the, the dream of Mars, they still matter. It'll make all of this worth it. Even the parts we had to give up along the way. I don't know. It's a weird way of looking at it. Yeah. Shouldn't have to give my life up. Those rings opened. We all ran out into the universe like your brother ran out into that road. No one could stop us. So instead, someone has to keep us safe. I don't know if I still can and if I can't. Nothing matters then anyway. That's creeped me out a bit. Yeah. Chill out, buddy. Her brother just died. Yeah, who's more sad, you or her? Oh, the crazy man. Henry. Sorry you didn't get to see Paris. Maybe one day we'll have one of our own. Keep that guy away from that girl. He's really creepy, isn't he? My new coordination protocol returned a coherent reply pattern. Show me. I think I can turn it on. I mean, I know I can. What is he doing with the... I don't know. It's just, it's just crazy. Oh, look at him. Yeah, you're oh. right. It looks like it's attached to one of the ships. Yeah. Oh, give something up. Make it worth it. She's taking her brother to the to monster that revives stuff. Oh, right. Okay, that would make sense. Right? That would make sense. Yeah. I don't, I mean, I don't see her doing Although anything he else. Wouldn't, he wouldn't have known about that. That guy wouldn't have known about the creature. No, but she just, she, she, she just, the, the lesson of what a sacrifice is yeah. and yada, yada, yada. Yeah. You will hear the inners asking us to take their side now. Don't put yourself back under their yoke. Don't forfeit our future for a sip of water. <laughs> so, uh, and we will have peace again. After the east. But technically, if they hadn't saved you, you would have been dead. I was going to say that. So Johnny's acting idiotic. They don't want us here. Fine. MCRN Fleet Command recommends that a joint strike force set out for the ring immediately. I don't think you should be anywhere near a ring with that weird a thing. Red thing. Yeah. I just leave. They don't want you there. Who's she texting? Okay, they're doing it it's by themselves. Oh yeah, Monica was there, isn't it? Oh yeah, she's talking to the guy with the cat, wasn't she? Mm. Darcy Okuda, specialist East Asian trade zone. I heard her talking to Sergeant Ebron. Ms. Stewart, are you recording this? Yes. Stop right now. You said I had full access. You're right. I did. What do you do here? Yeah, I wonder what cost that's going to come. Going over our battle logs, the Rosie gathered a lot of data on the Pella. I'm compiling all of it. I'm going to send it out fleet-wide. Someone will find that ship. Ooh. Someone will destroy it, though. Uh, does she not care? Don't know. Her son's on there. Fuck! Easy, that's not how we fix things. Still pissed off about the pillow? Aren't you? Mm-hmm. Does she know that Holden... Because I know she said she thought no. it was done, right? This is Alex's music. Oh, yeah. 
He used to play this stuff all the time on the Razorback. This is definitely, definitely Alex's music. So long, so long, I could cry. And it's pretty beautiful. They're both singing the song as well. I drilled down into the weapons telemetry log. Um. And I found this. Peaches figured it out. This is way above my pay grade, and I'm not trying to judge. Are you oh, getting paid though? <laughs> yeah? Yeah. No? Surely. After salvage operations are complete, take the two senior most officers of the Lauba and space them. Because <laughs> they failed. I think it's counterproof. If the captain of the Granicus calls and tries to get you to change my mind, have him put outside. Screw this guy. He's just, he's always just pointing fingers. It was you, you are the problem. I'm the new repair technician. I was at his time. Oh, okay. That's his new job. Where would you like to start? Don't know. I haven't done a whole repair before. <laughs> he's reassigned to a position away he has no, no experience. You need to fix this. You want me to apologize to him? You're the only family he has left. He needs you at his side. To give him support and counsel. I thought the Belter were his family. You think you know my father? You think you know me? What do you think he would do if I shot you in the face? Feel really guilty about it? Then send money to my family and pretend it's remorse? It's a kick in the teeth, isn't it? Just in case you didn't understand that, Philip, she's talking about you. You, 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 you. And she's, she's, she's very smart. If only she didn't follow Marco. She, she's very intelligent. Yeah. Here we go, it's time to face the music. Alex's music? No. Oh. <laughs> if you want, I can lock you out of fire control. It wasn't a dud. I trust you to do the right thing. What you think it is. Uh, we had a chance to end Marco, and you pulled the punch. And I keep trying, but I can't see how that was a right thing. It was a gut decision in the moment. Oh, come on, Amos. You can surely put two and two together. Naomi, the kid. No. He's not thinking about that. It's my call to make. And I don't owe you a fucking explanation. Are you pissed at me for asking? Or because you don't have an explanation to give? That's true. It's got a point. Yeah. I mean, he does. He can just tell him the explanation. It's not like Amos doesn't know him or... Wouldn't have the slight. But is it that Holden didn't think that someone would figure it out so quickly? True. I don't know. Maybe he should tell Naomi first. My brother is a dock worker on Ceres. I haven't heard from him since the water tank explosion. Yeah, that's messed up. That's just us two. One day our parents don't come back from Iraq. Mass took me in on Ceres. Now he keep me out of trouble. One of those people, good at looking out for others, bad at looking out for himself, you know what I mean? Do you think it's ever going to click in Philip that, oh, his brother might be dead and dad put those charges? Mm. Yeah, oh yeah. He has a condition, a vertigo. Anytime he is out in vacuum, he gets dizzy. Oh, that's crazy. I didn't know vacuum vertigo was a thing. Yeah. Right? I just hope he's okay. Mm. Surely, like you said, it must be hard because everyone on these ships would have someone that they were near at Palace or Ceres or whatever. And you just... You, you mean just any of the other crew members? As well? Yeah. Yeah. Time to tell her, Holden, what you did. The torpedo didn't fail. I disarmed it. If you let Marco escape to spare my feelings, you just made me responsible for everyone I who mean, kills I mean, Holden's feelings as well. Stop treating me like I am broken. Stop pretending like what you're feeling doesn't matter. Yeah. I see how much it hurts you every time we kill another Belter ship. It's about us. I can't be the one who kills your son. There we go. Mm, that's what I thought. Every time you wake up, you'll be lying next to the reason your boy is dead. Jim, I, I can't be that to you. That's... What? Yeah, that's what Holden's mainly thinking about. The guy, he don't want to be the guy responsible for killing her son. Yeah. If we win, he may die. I know that. Knowing it isn't enough. 
Like I said, she, it's not that she doesn't care, she just come to terms with it, that it is what it is. I don't think you'll ever come to terms with your son dying. No, no. She's saying it, but she'll break. What have we got here? That's a torpedo warhead. Is that the one that holds it disarmed? That's the dirt. This had gone off. <laughs> we wouldn't be here talking about it now. Careful with it. I'm stuck. Don't move. Get me out of here. Don't move. Oh, sh. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you want to know what you look like? You're an asshole. <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh, geez. That was drama. Is it? Yeah, you could see a nameplate on the back. What are they staring Where are at? They going? Yeah. The space station? The, 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 the supply depot? <laughs> wow, look at that! It's like a, like a... Like a bauble on a Christmas tree. <laughs> that is a big bauble! Oh wow, this looks epic! Is it spinning? God. Oh my is... god. So would you say it's like freight? It's just it's just like shipping containers. Yes, yeah, yeah. With supplies inside. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's a lot of supplies. I think about it. shipping containers. It's all the I'm stuff he's stripped, isn't it? Yeah. This one's wild. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, he betrayed her. Oh shit. But they're just there protecting the. Yeah, were they? Must be I th they were just there protecting the cluster. Yeah, I thought he. I thought that guy betrayed drama. Oh, okay. <laughs> but he didn't. Scopes are clear. Check it again. Someone is on their way. Mitchell, check it again. Do you like how he did? She did that. Tell her gently. Oh, oh shit. shit. Oh. Oh, he did. Yeah. Joseph is pissed. We need a medic. Walk him. We gotta get that crate off him. Did one of them betray? No. I don't want to... no, 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 they no. haven't. No, stop. Stop looking I'm, for I'm betrayals. Thinking... Stop I'm, looking I'm for thinking... betrayals. God damn it. <laughs> if his arm is completely small. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. That's got to hurt. No time. Hold him. I love you. I'm so sorry. Uh, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna chop gonna his... Cut his arm off? Yeah. Fuck oh, yeah. Brett's got a knife and she's doing it. No, no, no. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I mean, mate. you're freaking out. I'm thinking the hamster did something gory. No, I know. I was gonna say that afterwards. Ew. She's quick on her feet when it comes to medical stuff. Still, oh yeah, I forgot like, about that. She's she's med oriented. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hit another million to one, beating three ships, and when it's time to take the kill shot, another million to one. It's a dud. Oh, Bobby. <sighs> I'm going to the gym. Holden, tell her. Tell someone. The peaches knows already, so it's it's only it's only. And Bobby, know, it's only Bobby. Bobby that's that's <laughs> she's probably the last person that you want There's knowing no something. There's no point like in that. telling her. Oh. Don't worry about me, I'm not going to say anything. I told him. He didn't mention that. He was trying to protect me, he does that. <laughs> That's Amos. Do you want to know when I realized I didn't want to kill you? It was on the behemoth. When you said that we were all reaching for violence. Couldn't we just try something else for once? Oh yeah, and that's when she, um... Pulled the, um... Whatever she pulled. firing yeah. yeah. I killed a lot of people. Some of them deserved it, most of them probably didn't. They all haunt me just the same. Don't ever feel bad about not killing someone. <laughs> Such a simple sentence. Yeah. Thank you. It's not advice that anyone should ever need. It's more like to stay out of your head. Just, just do what you gotta do. God, how bad must that taste? She's just like dumping shitloads of salt in it to change the taste, so it has a little bit. <laughs> I 
for it. Easy? That's Ooh. way oh, too that's much. That's a bit too much, isn't it? Looks like you have a little bit of food on your salt. <laughs> Jesus, that was way too much. Her name is Lucky Earther. She is fat and lazy, <laughs> and I give her whatever she wants. Lucky Earther. This is my home. I don't hate anyone. Me. I want air and water and freedom. It's not the inners and the belt. It's the people who want more hate and the ones who just want to live. It's a good way of looking at it. This makes us look weak. It makes us all look weak. As a species. If you want the enemy to see you as human, you have to see them as human. Mm -hmm. Damn, good thing we didn't lose her. Or send her away, or leave her somewhere. Yeah. This is Kamina Drummer. And this message is for the traitor. The coward. Marco Inaros. <laughs> Still we are here. Unbent, unbroken, unbowed. And you? You are nothing. Damn, she's gonna go all out in this message. She's just gonna be sent floating randomly. Yeah. Or... yeah. Flo I don't know if they're sending it anywhere, or if they're just they if they're taking it. One of the ships is following it, so okay. they might be okay, pulling taking, it somewhere. Yeah, we lost a skirmish. It would have been better if we won, but we didn't. But if the crew thinks you've been shaken by the loss, it will shake their faith in you. Yeah, it's true. We'll just start pushing everyone where, away. Yeah, I want to know where this character's been all this time. Who her? Huh? Yeah. What do you expect in victory? Governorship of Medina. Is that all? I feel like I'm earning it. She is definitely earning it. Give it to her, you dickhead. You can't do anything by yourself. He's I mean, I'm reasonable. You know what? He's really stupid in this season. Like just thinking with his emo uh, thinking with his emotion more than anything. It was about to space three people because he fucked up a fight. Yeah. Torpedo disarm before impact. You mean someone disarmed it? Mm -hmm. Who would do that? It had to be a malfunction in flight. I reckon he's going to think it's his mum. Mm -hmm. What have we got? Drummer's message. This is Kamina Drummer. <laughs> yeah. and this, message this is going to be beautiful. Coward. Marco Inaros. You? You are nothing. Damn straight. You stole from your own. You abandoned Ceres to the inners and left Belters to starve. That's the bit I want people to yeah. hear. Live shamed. Die empty. Oh! Bravo. Bravo. Sauvage. Sauvage. At least it wasn't the Ines who raided our supplies. Whose side are you on? Well, I only. Jama is our enemy! Oh, for fuck's sakes. The blood that we spilled. You spilled. The Baratnas we lost. The ones you shot. All will have been for nothing. There's no turning back now. He has a very slight like, constipated look when he when he shouts. And he's, yeah, I mean, I you're not going to do anything. His while expression you're... is here. Is he? Is he like angry? Is he, what is he feeling? I don't know. I don't know. And the damn episode is <laughs> over. That's the end of the episode. Um, thoughts? Well, you tell me about the Philip thing, because in your mind I can see you raging. I can see the the, the, the lines in your I, head. I, I, I don't know what I don't know. The, the kid's confused, and uh, he's obviously thinking about the guys that the guy's brother and the charges they planted on Ceres, and he he he's doing it to his people, and then he's thinking about uh, the message that you just saw about Ceres and that um marco ran away he's hearing that part and it's just and then all of a sudden he's getting up and saying where kamina's the enemy and it's a war we're fighting and then he walks away before anyone can say anything <laughs> uh i don't know the thing is with that speech i don't know if it's because he feels obligated to say something because it's, it's an attack against no, his dad and he's yeah, in the room. yeah that 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 there's that there's that as well but then also i don't know do you know what in this episode there was a point where he just looked happy doing whatever he was doing like forget the war forget everything just 
whatever he, he looked happy like he just he found some sort of normality which mm. is really weird because stick the kid in, the that, in stick the kid in that job because he's not cut out to be a revolutionary yeah the um the first mate first mate is I, I actually like her character she's on the ball i, I, she's I hate board. i hate the fact that she's with marco because she yeah it almost feels like she's a very good tactician and then you know what I, i'm gonna say it again and again last season marco is a very good tactician and we hated him for it and this season it's he's just driven by pure emotion and he's making so many mistakes i still hate I him think, but i would like yeah. him to not make less mistakes and we be and be uh, and uh, be bailed out by his second in command because that, this is what's happening she's she's having to teach him about leadership and i never thought he oh i see what you mean yeah, yeah do you know yeah. what i mean it's weird I, I the thing is i think for her i like her ambition and it shows in the advice that she gives to philip to, she doesn't have to do any of this half the, she doesn't have to pull Philip to one side and have a conversation with him mm. she doesn't have to do that but no I, I admire her admission and it do, yeah it does seem like Marco is it very I mean maybe this is too ex too extreme of a comparison but it almost feels like the boy king like someone who's be because he's not he hasn't been that in previous episodes not or last true. season it yeah. feels like he doesn't know what he's doing in a leadership role and he's making aggressive um impulsive decisions we still don't know about that torpedo that spearhead thing that he i was gonna around. i was gonna say i was gonna say when you finished talking i was like i don't know if he's holding an ace off his sleeve and yeah. we don't know what that is yeah. and we just dream drip fed stuff yeah. because in every episode they talk about it they show it but they don't yeah. but i've said this i think nearly every episode they don't have many episodes left, so unless the Why are unless, they giving us five minutes of Laconia in the beginning? It was like a uh, decent. Do you know what? A, I'll be honest with you. That that is it, that is pissing me off a little bit because it, I remember when they were on Illus and they concentrated on Illus and they drip fed us stuff in space. It's like I want you to show me an episode of just just cram it down our throats. <laughs> yeah, just 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 I'll sit here and I'll watch it, but I want to know, like. It's just, it, I get it. I get it. Like if the season was meant to be longer, then this they're moving at the right pace. Yeah, I but agree it's more with that. Like, just we know she's gonna take it to the mystical dragon, or you know, just just t show it to us. The show us what dragon. comes next. A little oh, weird the, creature, the dog thing. The, yeah. Yeah. The, whatever it is. Yeah. Just, just show us a bit more. I, I get that you've got the Marco and Ara story. I get that you've got Christian's story, but it's like just. What are you doing on that planet? What is that ship in space? Like you just get there quicker because yeah. it's going to end very soon. Yeah, I see. What you yeah, mean. it's before you know it, it just, it's going to come to an end and we'll be sitting here at the end of the review of uh, reviewing it and be like, what the actual. So we'll be pissed off that it ended on a cliffhanger and it should have gone on for another two seasons, which I, yeah. I know for the for a fact that people are tell, telling us that it, there's still more and they just yeah. haven't it didn't get picked up um yeah naomi holden and... yeah it's interesting that she seems to have come i think she's come to some sort of peace with the fact that i think she's told herself as good as dead. i think she's told yeah. herself that because it, it's what needs to be done but mm. holden's also right like you're saying it hey, you don't but you, you don't still want to be have responsible for killing. Yeah, I know he doesn't want to be responsible for, for killing, killing her son because and maybe every time um, maybe have that feeling that every time she looks at him or is with him she is with the guy who killed her son kind of thing. But yeah. also she keeps on saying that um I'm fine with it. It's, it might that. be completely different when she loses her son. She hasn't lost him yet. And she might just break apart. She's breaking apart with every death of every belter, and none of them are immediate family. This is her own son. I suppose, in a way, if you think about it, for years she probably thought that he might. There is an op there is an opportunity that he might he be he might be dead. So meeting him has opened Pandora's box in her mind. Yeah. But then somehow she's managed to close the box while jumping out of the pillar. And like I, can't, I just can't save him. There's just nothing I can do. I See, failed it. I don't. I 
I don't. I think she's saying that. I think she thinks yeah, that at the time, I mean. yeah, and she yeah, might yeah, truly she... believe it. But it'll a switch will flip when she sees yeah. or hears that Philip yeah. is dead. Yeah, and, and she well, will. She may died. break down into like severe depression. So you don't know. Um, that's pretty much it. Oh, uh, drummer yeah, and the supply, the cluster. I'm glad the drummer's finally in it properly now. If she's always been, you know, one foot in, one foot out, she's in it. She's like, she's announced that she's in it. Um, and weirdly enough, like I said, becoming Robin Hood for the belt because, like she said, she I think, think I think it's I think she probably will just go around to all these supply drops and just take them. That's, yeah. You know, Marco can't really do anything because he's kind of heading towards the ring or wherever he's going. He's tied up. He's losing ships. Like, he's losing he's people. He keeps in space in them. Yeah, for someone who enjoys a good spacing, I, I do think that's unfair. It's, it's um, a bit, it's a bit too much. It's a bit random. Yeah, I mean, I get from his perspective, he's got to show authority. If you defy me or if you fail me, you'll die. Yeah, I but understand. And then there's like, there's, there's a line you don't like. If you yeah. want to do like a show of force or a show of strength yeah. or a show of leadership, like, okay, yeah. I may have messed up, but you also messed up, and you should never mess mess up and I'm going to punish you for it. But then if you start killing everyone, then the people who follow you won't follow you anymore. It's quite simple. I think, I think, like you said, he's losing. He doesn't understand whether he understands it or not. There aren't enough people in the belt. If he keeps spacing everyone, A, he's going to wipe out part of a civilization. Mm. But then also it's people won't follow you because they'll be they can't they're not they can't be forced into submission like you know when drummer was when they said to drummer you don't really have a choice he was in a position of power there he's not really in as much of a position of power mm. at the moment so it's kind of like yeah the, the cracks will start to show yeah, we agree he's a prick um uh it's a great episode uh let us know your thoughts in the comments what did you think of the episode and our reaction to it but other than that please like share subscribe click the notification bell and we'll see you in the next one see ya